who gave it this name, instead of always calling it the suicide machine, he wanted to give it a name. <coughs> Excuse me. And Thanos is the Greek word for death, and Tron signifying that it's a mechanical thing, so Thanatron, death machine. There are two documents. One is a hand drawing, also autographed and dated by my uncle, and the other document is typed out. Drawing of this, explaining how to put it together, and the typing, also how it uh, operates. Once the patient is ready, they push the switch. So many milliliters or milligrams, whatever the amount is, of chemical goes in there. First, to put you to sleep. Right. And then the final thing, to stop your heart, which is sodium pentothal. Mm. And you die peaceably. Yeah. You don't feel a thing. This machine is still functioning. Oh, yes. If one puts it together correctly and has the right chemicals, it'll work. Are you afraid somebody could use this, though? I mean, it, it is operable. It's operable, but they have to put it together, and I don't think they would because you have to have the correct chemicals. You have to be in the right profession to get those chemicals. It's illegal for, you know, to walk around with sodium pentothal, for example. For a patient on this earth, no matter who you were, black, white, or yellow, man or woman, if you wanted those services, it was my uncle's wish that society would accept that, as an, those things, as an accepted uh, service. I'm especially pleased to say that the charity is for children, because my uncle's patients were all consenting adults, and the charity is indeed kicking, uh, kids kicking cancer. It is children who have cancer, unfortunately, and they are kicking, literally, through sports, through athletics, to try to feel better. Mm -hmm. And that's, where they, that, that's the charity that the money is going to.